I'm Cheryl Ann Grace, and I'm a New Orleans artist. This collection is the Gospel According to New Orleans, and this is a collection of New Orleans iconic musicians, and I paint them as Byzantine saints. It all started with James Booker, then came Fats Domino, and then came Alan Tucson. The way I select who I paint is I just, I just look to the iconic musicians of this great city and their immense contributions to not only New Orleans music, but, but the, the founding of, of, of music, of jazz. They're all in piano cathedrals or um, a brass cathedral. In New Orleans, music is like a religion to most New Orleanians. Music is embedded historically in this city, as is religion. I mean, this city has very deep religious roots, and religion brings people together for a common belief. And music does the same thing in this city. I'm very inspired by uh, iconic Byzantine saints, and I do a lot of research on that. I really have to completely get immersed in who I am painting, and I do listen to the music of the person I am painting. I, I look at them over the course of their career, and then I combine the photographs to come up with the image that I paint. The whole time I'm painting their hands, I'm thinking about how they use their hands um, to make the beautiful music of New Orleans. They're all painted head on looking at you as most religious icons are. There's some way to make a face-to-face -face contact with them and that's by design on my part. I'm serious about what I paint but I also want to impart some whimsy. This collection as the rest of the work is my New Orleans narrative. I have a deep love and affection for all things New Orleans. I think it's a truly magical place. I want people to learn about New Orleans musicians, appreciate them, and, you know, evolve their love for them. As far as the future of this collection, yes, there will be more. I'm starting to incorporate more of our living saints who I have given early sainthood. For me, there's an educational component to this too, you know, spread the good word.